All right, so you guys can see it. It has a tip right here. So this tip is what you're gonna insert inside one of the cells. So it's important that you do this test on every single one of the cells, because sometimes some of the cells might be bad and other ones are functioning. Hello everybody, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything in Vata installation, everything going green. How are you guys doing today? Today we have a tubular battery here, a flooded lead acid battery, because lots of people will definitely be having this problem right now, even as they're watching me. Okay, they notice that their batteries are no longer holding charge. They're trying to figure it out to know exactly what the problem is. This guy right here is supposed to be giving you six hours backup time, but it barely makes it to two hours and you're wondering what exactly is wrong. And you're trying to find out the very best way you can test the overall health of this battery to be able to determine if the battery is still good <laughs> okay and now lots of people make this mistake all the time by trying to test the terminals of the battery by using the multimeter to test the voltage of the battery to determine if the battery is good or bad now that's a terrible idea because the voltage of the battery would never be able to tell you the state of the battery <laughs> okay neither will the multimeter be able to help you in that regard so that's definitely not a good way for you to test the overall health of these batteries but don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you guys a very good way you can test the overall health of this battery and that is going to be a specific gravity, conducting a specific gravity test on this battery. So you open up this cap here. All right, so you guys can see it. It has a tip right here. So this tip is what you're going to insert inside one of the cells. So it's important that you do this test on every single one of the cells because sometimes some of the cells might be bad and other ones are functioning. All right, so and in here too, inside of this tube, you have all the parameters that you're looking for. Like I said, before you do the test, you need to understand or know the parameters or the specific gravities of the batteries that you're about to conduct this test on. So inside here, you're definitely going to see uh, all of those specific gravities written all the way. It has a whole lot of them. So this orange ball here, all you need to do is to squeeze it gently and let it go. So once you let it go, the electrolyte is gonna bubble into the glass and settle at that specific gravity. Then you take the reading. Let's say the reading parameter of your battery is 1.250, all right? And you take the reading from this hydrometer on your battery and it's giving you way less than 1.250, then something is definitely wrong with your battery, okay? So the electrolyte is supposed to at all times when the battery is fully charged and on resting voltage, it should give you the specific gravity of the battery. Okay, so if it doesn't give you that, something might be wrong and you might need help with your battery. Okay, so right now, if you guys can see, I don't know how much the camera can see, but this is giving me the exact specific gravity of this battery. Okay, so that's the specific gravity of this battery. So it means that the health of this battery is really very cool. So what you do basically is to... Um, repeat the entire process open up all of these guys and do it step by step still the same way put the tip in give a gentle squeeze to the rubber globe and the electrolyte bubbles right into the glass then you check the level and see where the electrolyte is okay this is essentially trying to explain the acid density all right so this will show you the specific gravity of this battery so if that's correct that means your battery is fine. Maybe your battery needs uh, to have more charging or just something is just wrong with the solar system that you need to be able to do and um, set it up properly. All right, voila, that's it. It's pretty much easy, right? <laughs> that's the very much we can handle today. Thank you so very much, guys. If you haven't subscribed, always remember that's how you support this work that we're doing or we fully appreciate it. Okay, thank you so much. Don't forget to share, don't forget to like, and do not forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.